Hi, you're welcome to day three of our December series. This month we're talking about goal setting with a dash of encouraging you not to settle. And yesterday I started talking about the things you need to do to get what you want. But somehow, somewhere in my head, I feel I rushed it or I didn't dwell well on some issues. For example, I talked about how you studied in school to pass, to become a professional, being how you would study for life to excel at it and get what you want. But I did not draw a line between the concept of attending lectures and reading. Now, you attend lectures, it means you go for conferences and seminars that promise you what you want from life. Now, reading, of course, for every course you enroll for, there are recommended texts. For everything you want in life, there are recommended texts. There is never a point to reinventing the wheel. If it has been done before, then you don't have to go through the process of doing it all over again. What you need to do, however, is find a book written by someone who has done it before. Now, if someone has done it before and they've not yet written a book about it, I mean, some of us are really, really creative, we are innovative, and we've come up with something brand new no one has actually written about before. If you know somebody that's done anything close, recommended text in this context will be the person's speeches, the person's letters. You know, people tend to express themselves in their writings and when they speak to other people. So you might need to find those kind of things and create a virtual mentoring relationship. Virtual mentoring happens all the time these days. There's somebody you admire who lives so far away, you don't even have any means of contacting the person. You can study after the person. Find out what kind of meetings do they go for, who are the people he listens to, and then start listening to that, those kind of people as well, because when you want to replicate results, it's better to use the same formula. That's what experiments are all about. A plus B is equal to C. Just find A and B. If you put them together your way, you will get a C. So, talking about recommended text, I am saying that reading has to become a part and parcel of your life. Now, in selecting what to read, you would look for books written by people who have what you want, books recommended by people who have what you want, and one more thing, books that promise you what you want. I have seen all sorts of books in this, my, well, I don't know if I can call it short, but it's short compared to those of some other people. This is my short life. I've seen all sorts of books. I've seen a book on how to get a spouse in 90 days and then you're looking for a husband or a wife and you're sitting in your bedroom by yourself pressing your phone which is what we all do these days you're not going out you're not meeting people and you want to get a wife as a matter of fact you set it as a goal and make it time bound and you're really not doing what you should be doing to put yourself in the right position to get what you want that won't work why don't you look for a book how to books are the rave trust me and Google is your friend so why don't you look for how-to books on whatever it is you want? Even if everything that is being taught in that book does not apply to you directly, I can assure you that you will find some things that will resonate with you. Now, the minute you stop learning, you stop growing. The minute you stop growing, what do you do? You start dying, Mr. Niger D, the qualities of a living thing. Growth is there. If you're not growing, then that means you're no longer living. You need to study. You need to practice what you have studied and you need to keep making consistent progress. You must always make sure that with your studying and your application of what you've studied, you move away from where you were at least one further step in the direction of your dreams. Of course, most definitely, you are not going anywhere if you don't have a dream to reach out for. And then if you're not moving in the direction of your dreams, of course, you know that you have already missed road and you're working against yourself. So, I will tell you, gain clarity about what you want, move in the direction of your dreams, and don't settle. We'll continue tomorrow. Thank you. <music>